Good morning, chicks and chickens. Welcome back to Old Man Farm. My name is Sid, as always. You can skip the calendar today because it is the Stardew Valley Fair, which means I'm very behind on uh, getting our things for the Grange display. I do this every year. I mean, it's our fourth time. I should really know. But hey, look at that. We Iridium Blueberry Wine. Actually, let's see. That is going to be... That's eight points. I happen to have that pulled up right now. That's eight points towards our display. That... Well, that was a, a lovely Bob Rossian happy accident. <laughs> and uh, that's wonderful. That bodes well. Uh, I believe we should have everything we need. But it's... Uh, I still stress out about this every year. So let's see. We'll take a goat cheese... Oh, goat cheese and wine count under the same thing, I believe. Um, but that's okay. Uh, again, this is going to be an episode where... Most of the ep is going to be us running around grabbing the stuff. Because uh, the festival itself isn't really going to take very long. But that's okay. Uh, let's see here. Now, I believe everything we have is artists and goods. That's, that's kind of a problem. But we should have what we need, right? I don't know. I am currently sipping on a, uh, a lavender... London Fog? Do do all London Fogs have lavender? I don't know. To be fair, I'm not entirely sure what is even in one of these. I think it's like, what is it, like black tea, milk, and uh, in this case, lavender, I think. Something like that. But boy, is it good. <laughs> it's really good. I love it. Um, Let's see. Vegetable. What could we take as a vegetable? Hmm. Anyway, that London Fog comment is really neither here nor there. It's just, uh, it's currently, uh, the biggest obsession in my life, uh, because I really need the caffeine. I was up till about 4 a.m., and I was up at 7, uh, so, yeah, this is, I'm recording this the day before, because, uh, again, work weekend, but this Friday that I'm recording this, so we're a little, a little doing a little time traveling here. Uh, I'm I'm off to a wedding. I'm I'm in the uh, I'm in the wedding party, and I'm I'm super excited about it. It's one of my oldest, and see, I'm one of those people that when I say my oldest and best friend, that's all of my friends because all of my friends I have had pretty much the same amount of time, and um, <laughs> you know, it's just that's it's sort of the way it is. But this particular friend, we have. Um, We've lived together off and on. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's gonna be crazy to see him getting married, quite honestly. I, uh, it's just, I don't know, it, not to say that I never thought he'd get married, but it, uh, you know, it was up in the air. It was the, it, he was, he was, he was the kind of person that, really knew what he wanted out of um, a, a partner and would not settle for less than that, right? And, uh, like, I think that's a very commendable thing. Um, but it, it just meant that, you know, because, you know, I, I don't know. I'm so bad at people that I'm like, hey, you check a few boxes, let's hang out. You know what I mean? Um, so it's just, it's really wonderful for him. He's so, he's so happy. And you can just tell that... Um, I don't know. It's it's just so good for him in so many ways, and I'm and I'm so happy for him. So uh, yeah, I mean I'm in a very good mood despite, uh, or maybe partially because of the uh, lack of sleep. But anyway, uh, I think I'm gonna cut away here. I'm gonna pick up the rest of our things, right? I don't, I don't, I don't want to hold you guys up. So let me cut away, figure this out, and we will come right back. Okay, well that was that was a lot. That was a lot. Not a lot of time passed in game, but a lot of time passed in real life. We are going in there with a pretty good slate of things, I think. We're going to go in with an iridium goat cheese, a gold super cucumber, pink cake as always, a diamond as always, an iridium duck feather, a gold cauliflower, a gold ancient fruit, a gold poppy, which is also white, pretty cool, and that iridium blueberry wine. Now, I haven't actually done the math, 
but I don't really care. I think that's a good setup. So even if this doesn't yield us a win, I'm not too worried about it because A, we really don't need the win, but B, I think this is a pretty good setup of what we've been up to this year. You know, oh, hello everybody. What have we in the shop? We don't have any star tokens. Um, oh, a glowstone ring. I don't think we've ever gotten that, but we definitely should. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set up our Grange display first. Let's see here. We'll do pink cake. Um, I want to put this wine in the middle. We'll do the diamond also up top. We'll do the weird, nasty cucumber over here. Duck feather, because you got to get up real close to see it. Cheese, because you want to smell it. Cauliflower can go up there. I love it, but I don't think anyone else really cares. Strange poppy. There we go. I think that is a beautiful looking grains display. I mean, look at that. That really shows off what we do, I think. A good smattering of uh, um, artisan goods and future artisan goods, right? And the pink cake, because <laughs> why not? We've always got the pink cake. You're just a townie, right? Yeah. This cheese wheel's huge. I wonder if that lady would be selling it. Marnie, how you doing? Her green display is remarkable. These artists and goods are out of the world, out of this world, not out of the world. Oh, jeez. Okay, so if we win, don't we get like 2,000 points right off the rip, I believe? Clint's blades get sharper every year. Yeah, but his, uh, his, uh, his ability to talk to women does not work, Clint. Hey, it's Freya. It's great to visit Stardew Valley again. How's the guild holding up these days? Pretty well, I would say. We've gained a couple of new members. What's up, Morgan? Wellwick is so boring. <laughs> really? <laughs> I want to go pet the animals with Jazz and Vincent. I will take your picture. It's more, it's the first time we've got to talk to Morgan at this event, so. Rickon, hmm, can I help you with something? Uh, no but I do like getting our fortune read. It's always funny to me. Ah, yes, it's Gus's birthday. He thought everyone forgot, but then you show up with a nice gift. What a good friend. Oh, seems you'll be leaving more than a few heartbroken. Are you playing games with those who put your trust in you? What? We haven't done that. The crystal ball has moved on. Ah, you're in combat. There's something dreadful bearing down on you from the dark, but you seem more than ready to face it. It's only because I've got Abigail with me. She's the, she's the brawn of the operation. Ah, the crystal ball has gone dim. That's all I can do for you, young one. Now just keep in mind that the future isn't set in stone. Whatever I've told you today can still be changed. You set your heart on it. Farewell. Thank you, Wellwick. I appreciate it. <laughs> it's, you know, I love them, but they're always somewhat of a letdown. Like, I always feel like you could have fit more of what we did in a year, right? Kickball. Gotta talk to Andy. I know I don't have a snowball's chance, and you know where it winning. I just want to show everyone how hard I've been working this season. Andy, no one would doubt it for a second. Well, that's, that's a lie. A lot of people in town doubt Andy, but they're assholes. These cows are responsible for the giant cheese wheel Marnie's got on her display. And these are two of our best chickens. The pigs just needed a day out. <laughs> As does everyone. Speaking of days out, Linus. I already got a good meal from Gus at the other end of the fair came over here to pay my respects to these selfless creatures yes who who gave their lives for some of gus's delicious what was the name of that like the the big and cheesy or, or something like that what's the damn burger that uh clint orders we just saw it yesterday oh my god well whatever oh there's honey and darling or wait that's from zelda isn't it these two Oh, this is a pumpkin we should bring back home. It'll make the perfect jack-o'-lantern, honey. See, it is honey and darling. You want to make this... Oh, it's honey and boo. <laughs> Not honey and darling. Whatever. Does anyone remember that from Zelda? Oh, boy. Uh, Gus, take some practice to manage five grills at once. Once you get a system down, it works out fine. Can I have some? Mmm, survival burger. <laughs> How you doing, Mario? I wish I could take home one of these bottles of barbecue sauce, but I guess then there'd not be enough for everyone. Listen, if you can't part with a single bottle, you didn't bring enough. <laughs> I'm so busy. I knew it would be, but it's still... This is a lot of people. Sorry. <laughs> Give me a minute. I think we already have that picture of floor. Look at this kid with his hat. Oh my god. Oh, we gotta say hi to Jarek. 
I think I'll close up after this kid. Aw, Jarek. Don't look so sad about it. Yeah, he's scaring me. Who knows what he'll do if I don't let him ride turbo? <laughs> Jesus. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't do this to me. There we go. Oh, there we go. Good lord. Let's see who else I want to talk to. Shiro? Oh, hey, Senor Gigantic. This is actually pretty fun. I came so Yuma would go, but I'm honestly enjoying myself. That is wonderful. Let's go say hi to Kiwi. Play? Shh! <laughs> okay. That, uh, that wheel seems to have a secret. I think I'll have a bit of fun messing with the stall owner till I know the trick of it. Of course, Daya. You see nothing. All right. Yeah, you're right. You're hidden in the shadows. <laughs> Who are you? Ooh, look at their Grange displays. I really want to check out the games and stalls everywhere. Well, after Lewis announces the display winner. I worked hard this year. I hope I win. It's legitimately very, very nice. I've been learning a lot of business stuff from the many people around. Pays to learn more about all the economics, see? Now back to competition. Yeah. Think you're another- are you a townie? No, that's Lorenzo. We went here to stay away from all the crowds. I get a headache when there are too many people. <laughs> well, you know, you came to a festival, dude. I don't know what you expected. What's going on, June? Don't mind me, I'm just grabbing a quiet moment to myself. I gotta get a picture of you, you're a handsome lad. Okay, well let's go see how the Grange display goes. As I said, this will probably be a bit of a shorter episode today, but you'll have those, especially on uh, days like today. Uh, where is he? Where is the mayor? <laughs> help! I need an adult's help. There he is. Okay. Hello there, Senor Practical. I suppose you know the drill by now. I'd love to see what you brought this year. And I am ready. Let's do this. I still get out a, a kick out of the fact that Pierre is, is like monogrammed down here. It's not even monogrammed, it's just full blown his name. Ridiculous. Pierre is a ridiculous person. If I'm not mistaken, I don't think he goes up to check on Ridgeside. I think we found that out last year. I think he just checks the uh, SVE and base folk. Am I going to be in his way? Yes. <laughs> Sorry about that, Mayor Lewis. Okay, give the announcement. Your Grange displays have been judged. Return to Mayor Lewis for the result. Oh, that's not an action. That's... Congratulations! You won first place with a rating of 113. Your prize is a thousand star tokens. Spend them wisely. Oh, and don't forget to clean out your Grange display. Oh, I'm actually very glad he mentioned that. I I would have forgotten this year. I say that every year, but uh, I was really ready to just go buy that ring and uh, move on with our life. I also say this every year, but why is there not just a return to uh, return to backpack button? I don't like it. Okay, let's go buy that ring. Uh, normally I wouldn't care, but A, we're not going to use these points on anything else. And B, uh, we're in the ring combining game now, so... Might be able to make use of that thing. I mean, magnetism and glow combined? It's pretty cool, you know? Oh, jeez. I thought we were going to be on the next map, not just sitting at our front door. I'm just... just haul an ass right into that box whatever okay now we're gonna sell a few things here um truffle oil i'm gonna hold on to this blueberry wine i don't see any reason to get rid of it um yeah we'll go ahead inside we're probably not gonna do a whole lot today because again I am preparing for a wedding today and uh, I do have a lot to do I don't want to just run out uh, I'd like to hang around and, um, be efficient, but I'm not going to beat my head against this either. Now, let's see. Oh, it's a small glow. Oh, okay. I take it back. Um, not, not terribly useful then. Uh, I suppose, mm, you know, what, I guess realistically it would be better to combine a, uh, 
a magnet ring, like a proper magnet ring with a proper like a glow ring. I think that's going to be the better, better choice here. Um, Savage ring is good. We can combine our vampiric and soul sappers. And every time we defeat a monster, we'd gain health and energy. That's pretty awesome. Oh, uh, speaking of, I was looking into and was told about a few things regarding our upgrades that uh, we'll get more into as um, that becomes more of a thing. Uh, as of right now, we are still sort of on the on the back foot trying to get uh, all of the necessary ingredients to do the upgrades. Uh, but when we get there, I will talk more about it. But essentially, it was a, uh, you know, maybe... We should look into uh, not stacking everything into attack power. It could be worth it. It may not be. We'll see. But, uh, um, did I take anything from here? There we go. Oh, the poppy doesn't count because it's a different color. There we go. Oh, we have so many. Oh, I can sell this, uh, feather real quick. Now we lost Grover. <laughs> he's uh, he's not in the shadow realm this time. He's just he's just you know hanging out uh, outside of town because of the, the whole warping after town thing, which is kind of annoying still. But what are you gonna do? It Grover finds his way home. All right, well, final sort done there. Uh, let's go ahead and check our weather because that may play into it tomorrow. I don't think so, but we do have rain on the islands. Hmm, I'm not sure. We, again, we still, we have just so many things we have to do. We've got to, um, mostly, I think we might go get more cinder shards. So we may end up on the island in the rain tomorrow. Um, and then we'll judge from there where we want to go because we do still need to get prismatic shards. Well, an end of the week with a nice, easy event day. Um, we won. We've got that ring. And at this point, I suppose we're really, that was just a, for collection purposes because I don't think we're going to use it. But still nice to have. Nice to go to the event. I always love that. And, uh, you know, I, I panic about the Grange display every year, but it always ends up being fine. But either way, uh, Monday, we've got a lot to do. And, you know, between trying to upgrade our sword, multi-different ways, uh, and just possibly uh diversifying our our combat abilities we'll see and it's again odd that that's what stardew has become but the badlands the badlands so we'll reconvene on monday and figure out what we're doing but i would say assume we're going to some form of cavern to gather some form of crystal but until then be good to each other i will talk to you on monday and good night